guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And today I just want to show you like the products I got my back recently. This is my AM routine. That's what we're going to do today. But really, these products are staples AM and PM. I have been so loyal to these because like I said, they got my back. It is springtime. The weather is starting to warm up. It's changing. And that definitely means my skin is changing in lots of different ways. You know, um, I'm getting a little bit more combination skin, a little bit more oil in my t-zone it's also allergy season i am totally affected by that and it actually does show up on my skin because more inflammation in my body means a little bit more inflammation sensitivity and pimples on my skin so that's what this routine is all about balancing my skin calming my skin treating any kind of inflamed pimples that are popping up so i'm starting to dry out a little bit i can't wait to get to my first layer of skincare so give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So first up, I'm going to be using the Make Prem Safe Me Relief Essence Toner. I recently just named this one of my favorites. I think it was my March favorites. And this has been such a great toner. First of all, it's a giant bottle. You know, I get excited about jumbo toners. This is about 400 milliliter of toner. I'm all about a good giant toner because you know, I like to layer my hydrating toner up onto my skin and this is really kind of the foundation for balancing out my skin in any season but particularly important right now as we transition into the warmer temperatures because the other day you know i was realizing that i was like really producing so much oil you know i always talk about my skin being dry and dehydrated because the majority of my face really is that in my U zone and it's just kind of the thing that bugs me the most but I do produce oil in my T zone it just doesn't usually bother me that much although the other day <laughs> I was so oily it was really gross like my forehead was just like thick it wasn't just because it was shiny like it if you ran your finger across it it was like quite thick and just like yeah it was just really gross and that's kind of what this routine is about it's about balancing out truly combination skin really getting lots of good hydration which is going to help balance out that overproduction of oil getting enough moisture for my skin but not overdoing it not like over nourishing my skin or suffocating it with lots of thick layers and I really like this toner because it is a very simple kind of ingredients list is very gentle very minimal super watery there's no moisture to this at all it's pure hydration and it really does seem like it absorbs a little deeper into my skin to really replenish my skin's hydration levels which feels amazing you know to get such a hard-working hydrating product but such a lightweight texture so now that I've got a couple layers of toner on I'm gonna go in for essence and this is the by wish trend quad active boosting essence this is this and the serum that I'm going to use is really kind of the core of my gentle anti acne care because I have been getting a few kind of little inflamed bumps here and there and it really does kind of tie back to my allergies. Um, it definitely does create like a flare up of inflammation in my body and it definitely shows up on my face and that's one of the ways that it can. It also can kind of manifest with like a little extra sensitivity, a little extra redness. Um, sometimes like my chest particularly will flush <laughs> or like break out in hives <laughs> or sometimes you'll, you know, just get little like patches of redness and stuff. That's an inflammation thing. And um, the biggest way that you can handle that is with, you know, managing your allergies, which is something that I am doing. But with skincare, I do focus in on anti-inflammation um, ingredients that really kind of help calm and soothe the inflammation, you know, reduce the swelling that maybe also have some anti-acne benefits and antibacterial benefits to them as well. But I've got sensitive skin, so I have to do it gently. And this is one of like my hero products for that because this is a really nice lightweight essence. It is very watery. You may think that this should go on actually um, after cleansing, but it does actually go right before your serum. There is a little touch of moisture to this. There's a little honey, just a whisper of honey and propolis in this, but really kind of the, the hero ingredient here that's really working hard for your skin is 10% of willow bark extract. 
And this is an interesting anti-acne ingredient because it's anti-inflammatory, but it's actually also kind of like on the family tree of salicylic acid. It's not exfoliating in that sense, but it does have some of those clarifying properties. So it's really gentle, it's not stripping, it's not astringent, but it just has that ability to kind of help get those pimples to flattening out, kind of reducing the redness, kind of helping them to heal up a little bit faster. And I've always just noticed really good benefits when I add this into my routine, when I am starting to get a little bit more breakouts and be a little bit more inflammation on my skin, this really seems to do the trick. And that's actually why I felt so strongly about putting this into my most recent wish trend box. If you guys um, remember, I do have a wish trend box out right now that I personally curated um, and it's available. I'll put a link in the info box. And and that's actually why I wanted to put it into this box at this time because it is very gentle. It's great if you do go through kind of like um, kind of weird ups and downs with your skin when the seasons are changing, whether it's, you know, like into spring or into fall or into winter. Seasonal changes and shifts can definitely take a toll not only on your skin, but it can also kind of do some funky stuff to your body and your sleep patterns and everything too. So that's why I really like this one for this transitional period. So longtime viewers probably heard me say inflammation, pimples, sensitive skin, and you probably figured I would be using the By Wish Trend polyphenols in propolis 15% ampule in my routine and I am <laughs> you're right absolutely you know I swear by this this is 100% I am so comfortable saying this is a holy grail product for me this works for acne and sensitive skin chef's kiss this works every single time it really actually kind of blows my mind um, how well this works every time I put this into my routine not only does it like it has kind of like a calming property because it does uh, hydrate your skin, but it also moisturizes it. And it just kind of has like a, not like a centella soothing kind of feel, but it just kind of like comforts your skin, especially if you are kind of going through some kind of inflamed pimples. It really calms the skin. It reduces redness. But really within just a few days, it does seem to start to get the pimples to heal up, to kind of get on their way out the door, if you know what I mean. My skin just always looks better when I'm adding it into my routine. When I am a little bit more prone, like I said, you know, allergy season, inflammation definitely is an open invitation to some breakouts occurring on the skin, right? If I keep this in my routine, I just feel like I'm a lot less susceptible to pimples popping up on my skin too. So it's preventative, it, it treats, it's got a really nice texture too for this particular season. It's not a super heavy and super moisturizing propolis serum. Like some of them have like thicker gel type textures. It's a little looser. This does have some hydration. The propolis element to this isn't super high, it's 15%. And I think that's part of the reason why the texture feels a little bit lighter, a little bit more breathable um, on the skin. I mean, I love all types of, of propolis textures, you know that. But this particular one is really one of the lightest ones that I really do enjoy. And this kind of helps keep the oil in check too because it's not overwhelming, it's not a super moisturizing serum. So it's gonna help that T-zone not kind of overproduce oil. When I'm overproducing oil, I mean, it's all of these factors that kind of line up, right? When I'm overproducing oil, that's when I start to get clogged pores and that's when those could potentially turn into like a pimple. So this is just really kind of hitting all the marks. It's full of antioxidants. There's some other wonderful skin beneficial ingredients in here. Gorgeous texture. It works. I can testify. It works. I absolutely love it. For eye cream, I'm going to go in for the Claire's Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. And this is also something I included in my Wish Trend box because it is so perfect for this season. And I absolutely love this product. So, yeah, it is a little sticky uh, today. I'm actually like, should I turn the air conditioning on? Should I have the window open? It's just a little humid a little sticky and so some of the creamier types of textures that I do enjoy using most of the year it just doesn't feel right right now and one of those textures would be like an eye cream and so this is actually a really great alternative when you are just wanting a really nice kind of like complete skincare routine but just light layers this is it because this is the most gorgeous like gel texture but it's not it's still enough, if you know what I mean. It still has some moisture and some balance to it, but it's so plumping. It's so, like when you put it on, you can just feel the deep hydration right under your eye area, which let me tell you, when you suffer from allergies, if you get the kind of like dry, tight, itchy um, eyes, which I definitely do. Oh my gosh, interesting. 
me nuts. I like just dump vials and vials of eye drops into my eyes and it just still doesn't help. But I do feel like when my eyes are so dry, like on the actual eye, um, on the cornea, around my eye kind of feels dry too. I don't know if that's just like in your head or if it is actually a little bit drier. But anyways, that area is just kind of ailing. It's just kind of feeling a little tired and a little itchy, a little watery. And so I like to have this lighter weight type of gel around my eye area to really plump it up, deeply hydrate it. There's a little bit of moisture in this that's just enough for the eye area. It keeps this from feeling like a gel that just kind of like disappears onto your skin. You know, this has some heft to it, but it's not greasy. It doesn't interfere with like your makeup or make your mascara kind of smear all over the place. Love, 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 love this. And you can just see like how quickly it just absorbs into the skin. It feels awesome. So hydrating, almost a little bit like refreshing in the morning too, because I kind of need that little like I need that little perk up. And this is perfect for that. I mean, I could really use, use this year round, but particularly with the temperatures going up, this is gonna be my sidekick. So I have my skincare basket here and I am gonna go in for <laughs> Stradio Liquid Gold. You guys are probably so sick of this, but I, I show you what I'm really using and this is what I've just always been using. It's the Stradia Liquid Gold. I'm gonna use this with a little bit of facial oil in just a second. But I do know that recently I mentioned that I've been using the Polish Choice Omega Complex Serum kind of in place of Liquid Gold. 100% I have been um, definitely testing this and playing around with this. But I will tell you, this is nothing against this product, by the way. This is just kind of me following my gut instinct when it comes to my skin. When my skin is inflamed, when it is a little bit more sensitive, and when I am getting pimples, I really do clear everything out of my routine that's new or not super well known to me. And I think that that makes a lot of sense. I'm sure that's something that you do too. I just stick with what I know because especially as somebody who does test a lot of skincare, if I do get a breakout, I do wanna be sure that it's not one of those other products that's causing it. So I do like to go back to what I know is not gonna cause acne or pimples. And this is actually a good time to talk about that because everybody's skin is super duper different and individual. That's really the beauty of this whole skincare journey is really embracing individuality, right? Kind of a tricky concept because it's like, I don't know why my skin's not acting like your skin. Like it's really, it's tough to figure it out. But once you really tune into your gut instinct, you will understand the beauty of your skin's individuality. And one of the beauties of my individual skin is that a lot of my pimples and things like that do actually occur from outside factors that are not skincare. Like definitely if I'm using too thick of skincare and clogging up my pores, yes, definitely I'm kind of like setting the stage for something to happen on my skin. But I will tell you more often than not, if I'm getting like a really like angry, swollen, inflamed type of pimples onto my skin, it is often environmental, like allergy season, inflammation in the body, and stress. That's a big one. And I can tell you, I can pretty much check off all of those boxes <laughs> right now. I am like underslept, super stressed, like um, definitely allergies. They are really actually like, I, I have to tell you, they're pretty much under control now, or at least manageable, but they're kind of out of control a few weeks ago. And I, I was just feeling so terrible, but I, I really just figured, I figured it all out. Um, and I got my like Sudafed and everything and we're good. Um, but it definitely was wreaking havoc on my skin, my body, stress levels, everything. You know, we do tend to think about our skin as just or like our face, just like as one thing that's sort of independent of what else is going on in our body. And that's just not true. It's all connected. Um, it's all related to each other. And it, it is a good idea Definitely look at your products if you're breaking out or if your skin is getting extra sensitive or inflamed. 100% you should look there first, but also don't like, you know, don't count out the fact that like other things happening inside of your body can affect your skin. So I am gonna go for uh, a pump of liquid gold and I am gonna put in a drop of the Good Molecules Pure Cold Press Rose Hip Oil. You might be surprised that I am actually using these products in the morning and especially for a routine that I'm talking about, kind of oily combination skin. But I have to tell you again, when it comes to 
allergies, the changing season, the stress and everything, that affects your moisture barrier. It definitely can. Um, and that's gonna lead to more dehydration, more inflammation and more problems on your skin. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm just feeding my skin with the really gorgeous um, products that I know personally work for my skin and it keeps my moisture barrier strong. I will also tell you, cause I'm just gonna do like a little like little brag, <laughs> a little both, little her flip here. Um, I have been filming for a, a hot second, I'm not gonna lie. I um, I took a shower and then I, I dried my hair before I started filming. I didn't put any skincare on my face at all and I don't feel dry and tight. Like that's how good my moisture barrier is right now. It's working so hard for me that I'm not experiencing so much dehydration and I wanna keep it that way. So these are, you know, like I said, personally, the products that help me do it. So you know the drill, it is one pump of Strutty Liquid with gold for me and then I just put in a couple drops of you know the facial oil du jour and du jour it is the rosehip oil so I'm just gonna do this is a tiny dropper so I'm gonna do three drops and I just mix them together on the back of my hand this is nice because this is really my preferred method for applying oil because it really helps the absorption so if you don't use like a product like liquid gold, cause I'm going to go in for a final moisturizer, you can um, mix a couple drops of oil into your final moisturizer uh, to get the benefits, the little extra nourishment um, with the little better absorbency and the slightly lighter uh, layer on your skin. So I'm just going to like give it a couple of like minutes. This is where I would maybe go change my shirt or do my hair and just kind of like let this, um, settle into my skin before I just go in with my final moisturizer and then we're going to do sunscreen too but I will tell you sometimes you guys ask me about like how do I get that like kind of glowy look with my makeup um, this is really the secret it's facial oil I at least I personally do a lot of these dewy hydrating skincare products do help I also choose um, base uh, products foundations and things like that that don't have matte finishes or dry finishes I always go with something that has like a little bit of a dewiness to it uh, already. But that's really the secret. I think it's the oil. It really does seem to um, kind of enhance that sort of like glass skin sort of appearance to my makeup, definitely. Um, so it's not really just one product, but it's about getting your skincare right and tight underneath um, your foundation and then definitely going for something that is not matte, but something that maybe has a little bit more of a dewier finish. Since I do want to kind of respect the oil that I'm producing in my T-zone, but also really feed that drier, you know, U-zone, I'm going to go in for the Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. This is also in my Wish Trend box, fun fact, because like I said, I wanted to focus in on kind of like really good seasonal transitional change kind of skincare, and this is it. Because this is, I love this cream so much, and you know the funny thing is, I gave a jar to my mom, and she's like loving it too, because she wanted like this is like the best, this is the best kind of explanation. She wanted a cream that was enough for her skin that was going to help her stay moisturized, but she just didn't want it heavy. You know, she just didn't want it overwhelming. She also uses the Illyune, which she also loves, but she has now switched over to this Claire's cream for the kind of sticky springtime that we're having right now. And this cream is just so humectant. It is so jam packed full of hydration and it makes your skin so plump, so bouncy, so juicy, like, Oh, it feels amazing and it's like really easy to put a ton on but it's amazing like even if you over apply this it doesn't overwhelm the skin at all it just feels so good but unlike most gel creams which I don't generally gravitate towards gel creams there's a few out there that I really do enjoy this doesn't have that like non occlusive disappear on you kind of texture this has moisture to it as deeply like hydrating and like such a drink of water this is for your skin there is just that nice amount of balancing moisture that my combination skin needs that whisper of um occlusivity to fight the dehydration which my skin needs but it's just like right now i just feel i can feel it like just hydrating and balancing my skin it feels so good very much a uh, similar sensation to the eye gel where it just really kind of wakes you up it just really refreshes you it just feels like cooling and refreshing and just it's a great way to start your day i absolutely love this one for the daytime and it really works hard enough for my skin it really does keep trans epidermal water loss away 
um, it's great and you can see like I'm getting bouncy I'm getting dewy it will it will kind of absorb down just a little bit more but it feels great it's so breathable now I will not use this cream at nighttime as I mentioned at the beginning of the video this has basically been my routine morning and night I'm really not changing it up here's how I would change it for nighttime though instead of the gel cream um, as my final moisturizer I am still sticking with the CeraVe moisturizing cream I like something a little thicker at nighttime um, I'm just a little bit more prone to the dehydration. It's still getting cooler at night. Um, if the heat is on or the air conditioning, depends on the temperature. That's how kind of like, um, just kind of like up and down it can be temperature wise here right now. Depending on what's on, it can dry out the air. And so I do like a thicker cream at nighttime and this is still serving me right now. The other thing that I might change up um, with this routine that I just showed you for nighttime purposes would be to add in my tretinoin prescription, which I use uh, Curology. I use this about three nights a week and actually tonight is my tretinoin night. So what I would do is just mix in like a half a pump, like a generous pea size amount into my CeraVe moisturizing cream. Another reason why I like to go for a thicker cream at nighttime is because this can be a little bit drying on the skin. And um, I might on some nights uh, move out that gel eye cream and go in for a retinal eye cream like this one from uh, First Aid Beauty. That's really the only differences here. But the key and core products are all the same. I, I promise you I've been just using the exact same things over and over again. And of course another difference between a morning and a nighttime routine is sunscreen in the morning. So that's how we're going to finish off this morning with the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I've just been reaching for this so much. I have a lot Lot of like sunscreens in my sunscreen wardrobe I'm gonna share that with you guys um, coming up really soon like all the different sunscreens that I have kind of in rotation but this is really my everyday sunscreen that I have just been really enjoying what I mean by everyday sunscreen is um, minimal outside time not demanding a lot as far as UV protection goes um, and not needing anything um, super waterproof so today I'm gonna be walking my dog <laughs> um, you know outside Side a little bit I might take like a little quick walk um, around the neighborhood and then I am gonna be sitting in front of my computer all day I do have a window um, right by my desk I don't get like real intense Sun out of it but there is some Sun exposure that's it so I'm gonna be doing today so I'm not gonna be demanding a lot from my sunscreen and this is the perfect kind of everyday sunscreen because it is so comfortable it's so airy on the skin there's no white cast it's really easy to reapply without it building up super thick on the skin but this wouldn't be my choice if I knew I was gonna be sweating maybe going for a run outside being outside for long periods of time just because it's not sweat or waterproof so I'm just gonna put a real good generous amount on I always feel like more is more you know I usually say more is not more but when it comes to sunscreen more is more now this sunscreen uh, I didn't say what it was <laughs> if you don't know this is a chemical sunscreen it's um, SPF 50 PA plus 4 and it's five uh, different chemical filters that they're using and it's like a mixture between like um, the newer generation filters like Uvinyl A plus and um, uh, I don't know if this one has Tinosaur Best. Maybe I shouldn't talk about the ingredients because I can't remember them right now. It's a really great sunscreen. I like the, the combination of filters and I haven't had any irritation from it, which is really good because that's kind of one of my main concerns when it comes to chemical sunscreens using some of the older filters because they're a little bit more known for causing irritation, but I've been very lucky even with sensitive skin to not have had any irritation from these filters, which has been really great. So I'm a big fan of this. Um, you can see it's like making me a little bit shiny, but just like give it some time to kind of absorb down um, and form that film. And then that little bit of like glossiness will go away. And while I wait for that to absorb, which is a super important part of your sunscreen application, I'm going to do my neck. Okay, so that's it. I am ready to start the day. I am not going to wear any makeup or anything like that. I'm just going to let my gorgeous, you know, fresh skin shine today. And that's really it. I mean, this has been my morning and really my nighttime core routine for the last couple of weeks to get myself through this kind of, you know, awkward spring and allergy transitional time. It keeps my sensitive skin happy. It's really helping with any kind of random breakouts that might be occurring. And it really helps keep the inflammation down and my moisture barrier 
barrier strong. So I hope you guys enjoyed that routine and um, let me know like what is like your core staple products right now. Whatever the weather may be where you're living, let me know in the comment box below. If you love this routine and maybe you want to see some more skincare videos from me, please do subscribe to my channel. I release two new skincare focused videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications. I hope you guys are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to talk to you in the next video, and I'm going to go get started on my work. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.